And on the men's race, tight race up here now. Fleet is close together. First six guys separated by maybe 15 to 20 meters as they go upwind. With the breeze increasing, Nicolas Palier of France in his familiar number one position around the windward mark. And here comes the entire pack right behind Nicholas. He's got about a four second lead. Nicholas already heading downwind. And kind of tough for the men to pinch down and follow him just because they're so tight. Martin Dolenek from Croatia is second. And Nicholas Parlier still building up his lead, even going downwind. He has some more speed. But then there's Nico Landauer inside of him in Calbuccia of Italy. They're taking a deeper line downwind. And that kind of is what you want to do because if you tell, go deeper downwind, you jibe over, you get into the lead. Nicholas Parlier and Martin Dolenek. Kind of went a little bit further down. And now the fleet jiving over. Palier in first, Dolenek in second. Landauer also came over, and that's going to be kind of close with him and Bridge. Ooh, that was close. And coming around. The leeward mark, men are close together. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just on each other's tails. Nicholas Pallier is still about five seconds ahead. That gives him room also, just makes it easier to sail. He can pick his own line, doesn't have to look around. Martin Dolenek in second place. De Flaubert is gonna be in third. Ali Bridge in fifth, trying to catch up. Sam Bullock in fourth. These guys are neck on neck, only about two seconds apart. And Nico Landauer won't have anything about that. He's gonna look at four and five saying, I'm gonna get you guys, I'm right behind you, I see you, and I can get you upwind. Calabucci of Italy is in seven. And Dennis Tardin, usually a little bit further ahead, in eighth position, probably not too happy with that. Yesterday's third place, third place finisher, Florian Gruber in position 10. And Guy Bridge doing so well yesterday in the light wind races. Kind of had a little bit of mishap in position 13. Nicholas Pallier up to the wind work, wind work mark on lap two. About now a 10 second lead. Martin Dolenik below him, which is good for Dolenik. He can see Nicholas, he can see when he tacks. And that's a great reference because obviously if you see the leader tack, you're going to just follow close to where he is and then lay over and just following up to the lay line. It's really hard to see that, by the way, when you're going about 40 kilometers per hour, you're going away from the mark. You got to look over your foot shoulder. And every time you look over that shoulder, you kind of move the bar around a little bit, changing course. And next sequence for female for race three has started also. Let's look what's happening with the men, men though. Nicholas Pallier tacked over, now in a really comfortable lead. Martin Dolenek of Croatia following him. And then it gets close here. The guys are coming away towards the beach, don't have the right of way, they need to give way to the people that tacked earlier. Sam Bullock trying it in eighth position. He tacked early, let's see if that pays off because if it does, he's gonna go from position eight to position three.
Dennis Tardine had a great upwind leg. He's going to attack over as Sam comes across. It's going to be close here. Nico in position eight now. And Nicholas Pallier around the windward mark, coming back downwind. His lead increasing now to about 12 seconds. Martin Dolanek has a great race in second position. And he kind of separated himself a little bit from the fleet also. But it's going to be close right behind him. Position three, four, and five. No more than maybe 20 meters apart. As we come downwind, great lead from Nicholas Pellier in a very familiar position. Speed about 40 kilometers an hour. Martins inside of him. Won't have a chance to catch him. But what a great lead from those two sailors. And after that, it's going to be Mayhem. Position two, three, four, five, and six within 10 seconds. Anybody make a mistake here, they're going to drop three or four points. And it's all about staying focused. Nico Landauer squeezed in in fourth position. Mario Calabucci from Italy in third. And Evan Hefferman from the United States of America in fifth position. Upwind of everybody and that kind of might not be so good because as, as, as you have to go with the lower, it's going to be hard to gain that speed just because he's got to go a little bit deeper. But it looks like it's paying off for him now. Currently in fourth, if he makes this jibe, he might come in in third place. And here goes Hefferman Evan. Jiving around. De Blair of Italy coming right behind him. And Nicholas Pallier, easy win here. Martin Dolanec of Croatia comes in second. And I think Calabucci might have eked one out here from Italy in third position. But this is going to be photo finish. It's going to be really, really close between them. Hefferman, Calabucci, Landauer. Is it Hefferman, Calabucci, Landauer? They're so close. Coming in on the top. Let's see who squeezes in here. And it's going to be Evan Hefferman squeezing it out to the third position. Great race coming downwind. Good positioning on him. Landauer finishing also. And so close that it's going to be almost photo finish for the men. Guy Bridge right behind Florian Gruber. And race three for the women. One minute away from the morning. Ollie Bridge finishing now. And then uh, Bruno Lobo of Brazil must not be happy with this race. Kind of lost some ground. Rounding up and finishing the men's race. Here comes Clement from Spain. The oldest man on the fleet, James Johnson, just finished. And Turkish rider E.J. Guniol wrapping up race two of the qualification rounds. <laughs> 